Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Welcome back to the occasional series here on the channel called Reader's Rides, the time when we have a good old nose around at somebody else's motorbike and find out all about it. Today, we're looking at this stonking machine, the iconic, I think at least, VFR 800. So if you're interested in this bike, stick around, stay tuned. Okay, so without further ado, let me introduce you to the uh, owner of this splendid motorcycle. He'll be familiar to some of you. Come on over, Richie. Great to see you, Rich. Thanks for bringing the bike along in. Now, I've seen this bike hundreds of times on the internet, because of course, if you don't know, this is Richie Vida. He has his own uh, channel on the interweb. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? Check out Richie Vida. Links below. Anyway, it's not about you today, Rich. It's all about the bike. So tell us about it. What is it? Well, first of all, I will say that since I've owned this mm -hmm. for a long, long, long time, and I've been to many, many, many places on it, yep. I've never let anybody ride it. Is that true? That's true. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> that, is, uh, that, that, that is a bit of a bombshell. The implication being, of course, I'm going to ride this. You've kindly said that I can ride it. Yeah, I've we, wanted to ride one of these for ages. I love V4s. I've not ridden too many of them. It always sounds great on your videos. Yeah, she sounds stunning. It's got the Australian stain tunes on. Right, uh, pipes right, and it, right. it, 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 Although there's loads of different kinds, obviously, different kinds of exhaust that you can get. Yeah. By all accounts, everybody says that the stain tunes, although very expensive, yeah. sound the best for this bike. So, real, real. It, you, you, I'm sure you'll agree. When you're out on it, it just sounds, especially when you go over seven thousand revs. Yeah. And you hit the VTEC. Yeah. Do you feel? Do you, is it like there's, the GS twelve fifty where you can't feel it? There's a, there's there's a little a... transition, but okay. it's not like right. a lot of people tend to not owners. Yeah. Um, a lot of people seem to think. It's dangerous. It's going to kick in, and oh, it's, okay, it's, it's not, not like that at all. Okay, it's yep. not like that. But but the tone difference. Right, lovely. When the VTEC's in, it's, it's sunny. Look forward to that. And, and if you hover around, if you're in like third gear and you're hovering around seven thousand revs, yeah, yeah, and you're like half in and half out of it, it's yeah. lovely. It's lovely. So how does do you know you get, how it works on it? Because this is the valve changing technology, isn't it? I don't, what does it stand for? Variable technology, something. I don't, know what I don't actually know. Any whatever. Do you know how it works? Is it electronic, mechanical, uh, centrifugal know? forces, ball bearings? There's a lot of wizardry. Okay. That's it. That's it's all. Wizardry. That's all it is. Okay, fine. All right. So how long have you had the bike then? What in fact? What year is it? It's a two, late 2003. Yep. And I've had it since 2010. So how many miles have you put on it? It's just done 85,000 and. About eight five and a half thousand, and I, I've done seventy thousand of those. That's amazing. Cause Probably you, more actually. Because again, if you haven't seen Richard Channel, you've done some amazing things, haven't you? You've been tell us where you've been on this. Well, one. I'm I'm super um, sentimental. You know, the, after the first long trip I did uh, down to Croatia, I remember sitting in Dubrovnik. Yeah, you know, thinking. Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. How, how can you just go off to these places? You know, riding through Bosnia and that, yeah. thinking, just on, on my, you know little bike kind of thing yeah. and then you start to think a bit well I want to go further I want to go further so we decided to go north went to the top of Norway so I've ridden like I've ridden this in the midnight sun of the Lofoten Islands yeah, in Norway absolutely amazing the rest of the guys in bed I'm like how can you be in bed when the midnight sun's there yeah, that's what we exactly. come for you got to and, and in fact it was Richie's series of doing the Norway trip that made me want to go to the Arctic was it? on my GS you were my inspiration for that absolutely sure. yeah, yeah. stunning yeah, beautiful yeah. beautiful place it is um, amazing we had, we had terrible weather all the way up <laughs> through yeah, our great weather until, until we crossed onto Lofoten then it just turned into paradise absolutely amazing so anyway tell us a bit more about the bike what, do, do you know what the basic spec is what, do, any ideas what horsepower is I, I really don't know the horsepower right I, I don't it's just a, yeah, it's a VF Adequate. Adequate. Oh yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's, I, when I first bought it, I said to someone, um, I was quite late doing my tests actually, you know, yeah, um, yeah. I've ridden all my life on off-road, as grown up on motocross and things like that, Right. but um, quite late to doing my test, and um, obviously it's a minefield of bikes out there, mm -hmm. I didn't really have a clue what I wanted, um, what fit me or what kind of style I liked or anything, so I got in touch with a friend and I said, I want a bike that's that looks good, yep. that's fast if I want it to be, mm -hmm. and I can go to Spain on. Yeah. Okay. And, and, he, and he, said, he said, you, VFR 800, that's what you want. So the more I started looking, the more I thought, that is actually a stunning bike. They do look lovely. The front end on this in particular appeals to me, the way those little side lighty bits. Yeah, do, do you know, do you know it's great. so photogenic. I mean, this yeah. is probably the most photographed VFR yeah, yeah, <laughs> in the yeah, world. Yeah, but, yeah. Rich is also know, a great photographer. He's got some amazing yeah, pictures. I just think bike. it's so photogenic. No matter where it is, it just always looks good. Yeah, always. Yeah, you know, yeah. some, you, you'll know yourself on bike reviews and stuff. You'll do photos and you think... That's a bit crap. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The bike's stunning, but it just doesn't look well on, yeah, on, exactly. on, on this one. On camera as well. Yeah, yeah. photographs very well. Yeah, but, real, real. You know, and then like I say, being sentimental. Um, 
I then put it on a plane and took it to America. <laughs> so ridden all the way across America on it. That's amazing. So it's had the red desert dust of uh, Arizona on yeah. its boots. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So is it basically a standard bike, or other than the cans? Have you done anything else to it, or is it bog standard? It's, yeah, it's standard. Yeah. Brilliant. Other than Brilliant. the cans, that's it. Fantastic. Well, I, I feel well, privileged that you're going to let me ride the thing. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Well, I'm sure I will. So should we sit well, up and get out of there? You know, for saying this as well, for saying yep. it's done 85,000 miles. Yeah. It's still, to me, it still feels as tight and as precise and as as it's ever done. Brilliant. The, so mark, I, so of I'm, I, I, the mark of a well-maintained I really bike, hope I you uh, you enjoy it. So yeah, no, I'm sure have, I will. Have, have fun out there and uh, don't break it. Well, oh, I promise. <laughs> well, I can't promise, but I'll try not to break <laughs> it. All right then. Let me uh, suit up. Let's get out on the bike. Okay. So how privileged am I then to be the first person that Richie has ever let ride his VFR 800? I feel. Uh, very, very lucky indeed. So thank you very much, Richie. Richie's behind me, actually. He's on my Royal Enfield. He's doing a video on that. So uh, at some point, maybe go and check that out as well. <laughs> but I'm just going to be concerned with this bike now. The VFR 800. Don't know much about it in terms of spec, nor does Rich, but it doesn't matter as long as the bike makes you feel good. And I'll tell you what, and I'm not just saying this because Rich is my mate and uh, I'm on his bike, but this bike instantly feels lovely. It's super smooth. I love four-cylinder bikes. So I've really got to get me one. But this sounds absolutely amazing with this V4. In a minute, when we get to a slightly faster road, I'll open her up a bit and I hope that the GoPro mic uh, picks up some of the amazing sound of this engine. But uh, in terms of stuff that I would normally cover on a review, comfort, the position of it, uh, it is quite a sporty position but it's not extremely sporty. Um, you know, I'm relatively upright, it's the sort of bike that you could ride for hours on end and I know Richie has and uh, I think I'd feel perfectly comfortable doing that on here. My legs are tucked up uh, a little bit of an acute angle and I'm a little bit leant forward but I haven't got much weight on my wrists. Uh, it really is actually quite a comfortable position. This big old screen as well affording uh, a nice bit of protection from the wind. Not that we're going very fast here, we're about to go into a 20 mile an hour zone, but I'll feel that a bit in a minute. Big old comfortable seat as well. Massive mirrors, great view behind. I can see and indeed hear Richie behind me, <laughs> which is great. The ride, I mean for a sports tourer, of course, they're, they're all about doing big miles and long hours in the seats. Well, the suspension is beautifully soft on here. Set up lovely, I don't know how much Rich weighs, but it feels just right for me. I like to think it's quite a bit heavier than me. But, uh, but it feels great the way it's set up. I'll experience the handling a bit more up here when we're going through a bit of a windy road. Let's just try the brakes. Yeah, brakes are okay, not the sharpest ever, but they're not bad at all actually, to be, to be fair. I'm struggling now to try and find things you see bad to say about the bike, but I can't really think of anything. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get to call. Oh, you just say nice things because it's his bike. Now, this having the VTEC, I'm reliably informed it completely transforms the bike once you get over about 7,000 RPM. So, in a minute, I'll give that a try. One of the great joys of riding motorcycles is the noise they make, I think. And uh, these V4s just sound stunning. For a bike, I can't remember now what actually what year he said, but it's. Uh, you know, this is way over 10 years old and it feels as good as new. The handling around these corners is lovely, it's planted. I can completely see why Rich never wants to get rid of this bike. Lovely, I mean, it's a big, it's physically a big old bike, but it, uh, it just feels great. So although uh, Rich has had this bike for ages and he's uh, done obviously lots of miles on it, I think he said, well, anyway, 85,445 miles on the clock. That is a high mileage bike. This does not feel like a high mileage bike. He recently had this go into the workshop for a couple of months to be completely sorted out. And not only did they sort it out mechanically, but they've uh, tidied up a lot of the panels. So uh, things like the, uh, the wheels, they've, re they've refinished. I've got some shots of those here. Uh, things like the racks on the back of the bike have been uh, repainted, look like new again. Uh, the front forks look absolutely amazing, certainly not like a bike that's done 85,000 miles. Uh, all sorts of bits and pieces on the bike he's had done. So to really refresh the bike and bring it back to uh, almost as good as new again. It certainly feels, I'm not just saying this, it feels like a new bike when you ride it. It just shows you, if you look after a bike, they look after you, there is no reason why you can't have a bike for 85,000 miles and you still love that bike after that time. New bikes are all well and good and there are some amazing new bikes out there on the market, but don't poo-poo older bikes. If you can find yourself a uh, well looked after second hand VFR 800, you're going to be very happy. It's a bike I've um, often looked at in the classifiers actually, because I've always liked the looks of them. And I don't know, having now ridden this, I'm even more tempted. Right, let's just open her up a little bit. Listen to that beauty. Oh yeah, over 
over 7,000, she becomes a bit of a beast. Wow, what an excellent, excellent machine. As Rich said, as we were talking in the garage, this really is one of those bikes that can, you can do everything on. If you want a spirited ride, then you can do it. Hello, what's going on here? Or if you just want to ride along. In a sort of chilled out way, you can do that too. What a great bit of kit. And no wonder the VFR 800 in its day was such a popular machine. And what a shame now that Honda seem to have lost their way a little bit with this line of bikes. They make the VFRs now, the 1200, and they make an 800, but they're not in the same, they're not iconic like this bike was. This is still a lovely, lovely machine. Well, what an amazing bike. Thank you so, so much, Rich, for letting me ride it. We've had a great uh, time this weekend together. Actually, a few drinks have been imbibed. It's been really good, but uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed riding this bike. Thanks for uh, letting me have a go. Really respect that I'm the only person other than you that's ridden it. That is, uh, that is great, so thank you. So there we go folks, that is the VFR 800, my first go on this mighty bike and uh, absolutely loved it. So thank you so much Rich for coming down and showing me your beast and letting me ride <laughs> No, bike. thank you, thank you bike. very much. <laughs> and let me ride it. I mean, I feel privileged to have done so. I've always wanted to ride one of these, so it's absolutely fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed that. Like I say, do go and check out Richie's uh, channel. Thanks again for coming. Thank you, it's mate. It's been great having you down here. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoy that video. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio. What a beautiful day to be riding the Honda VFR. Marvellous. And not a white van in sight.